The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Uh, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, well, uh, Billy Ray Valentine has a special guest today. One of the world-famous Elvis impersonators is going to sing a little tune for the folks here at TFN, TFNN with a special message. And he would also like to say that there will be another announcement later in the show. Let me start out with the tune that he would like to play. Stay with me, folks. And remember, tomorrow is the king's birthday. He would have been 87. Here we go. <laughs> Love me tender, love me true, never let me go. If you keep buying treasury bonds, you'll soon be out of dough. Boys and girls, the bonds are going lower. How much lower? I don't know, but they are going lower. Now let me get these Elvis Presley glasses off. These were actually glasses that were made in, uh, uh, what's the name of that little town? Passau, Passau Austria, in Germany, actually Passau, Germany. And these were they're made uh, for Elvis. And uh, I had uh, actually someone gave me a pair as a uh, birthday present, my good friend Jay Cross. But 30 some years ago, I still have the glasses. I never wear them anymore. I have them in sunglasses too. I also, people have asked me what Sarah got me for Christmas, folks. And you talk about the love of your life and, you know, your dreams and all this stuff and my bucket list. And one of the things I always wanted on my bucket list was take one of these flights, these space flights that everybody's taken, you know, for $250,000. And lo and behold, Christmas comes, and there it is. There's my ticket, Virgin Galactic, on my birthday, July 28th, 2022. I am going up. And I looked at this ticket, and I said, oh, my God, this, this is really incredible. And then I see right on there, I say, O-W-O. -O. I said, what does that mean, honey? She says, that means one way only, darling. And guess what? You got Rodney Dangerfield and Elvis Presley on the same day. Let's talk about the markets. I posted the chart. Isn't it wonderful what medication can do for you, folks? <laughs> <laughs> you got to have a little fun with this, if nothing else. All right, let's take a look at these markets here. You can see the FTSE market starting to weaken up. The uh, German DAX is uh, going to be right behind it, I believe. It's the same type of pattern. I'll get this up here. Uh, by the way, Tim Bost will be our guest, Financial Cycles Weekly, and uh, the medication's wearing off, so we'll get back to work here. You'll see here that it's not long before this three-drive pattern is going to kick in, I believe, So, and it may or may not. I don't know, but we've got some markets. Markets that are under a little bit of distress. The bond market does look rather bad, folks. I mean, there's no question about it. The thing that troubles me most and why I'm so nervous about this for all of you folks out there are things like this. When you get a stock, this is a thing that's advertised all the, all the time, this Carvano, whether you just order your car just like you would at Walmart and they deliver it for you. When the stock can move, $500. I mean, it moved from $150 to $450, $400 in one day, and then $300 down. I had a 700 point move in one day. That is not good, folks. That's not what the stock market's all about. So we've got to remember that. That's something that I think is very, very important. Another one, look at this one here. This is really important, what's happened to this stock. This is a case that uh, Bo, Bo in our room here, the trading uh, in the TFNN room when he was in Nike, and uh, had that big earnings thing, and it was just going crazy. Great news. Look at this. This is uh, Rivian. This is that new Ford electric truck that they've come out with. It's the truck of the year, folks. You can see right around Christmas time when it was making the 61 retracement. It was made the truck of the year by Motor Trend Magazine. There is no greater uh, accolade in the auto business other than get a Motor Trend car of the year, truck of the year. 
You know, I mean, that, and look what it's done. You know, so look, beautiful three drive to a bottom pattern. Uh, we had a little bit of a bounce off that. So another one that we want to pay uh Keep an eye on, see what's going. I want to show a few stocks here because, uh, you know, a lot of you guys are in the stock market and, uh, you know, it's uh, something important for you and it's important for me and everybody else. So let's take a look at the next one, which is the all time favorite, everybody's favorite, Mr. Appel. Remember, we were talking about just the other day here when this thing broke up into new high ground and immediately reversed with that wide ranging bar. That was on the 4th of January. And now you can see once we I drew that red line in while we were on the line there. And I said, if we get below that level of 78, I said, look out. And what does it do? It drops all the way down, you know, drops about six points in, in one day. So I'm just showing you these patterns, folks. That's really all I'm trying to do is to give you an idea that they don't work all the time, but they do work some of the time. That's the main thing that we want to be uh, watching as we look at some of these. Now, I want to bring a few more uh, to your attention here. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. I'll be happy to, to answer them for you. Then I have a little little tiny bit of something that I want to cover. This is another one that's been in the news for a long time. And I've, you know, I always said that something was wrong with this picture. This is the the ARK Investments. You'll notice a beautiful three drive to a top pattern back there in February at 160. You now get a 50% clearance at, uh, at this level right here. Actually, it's an ABCD buy right here. You can look at it. Uh, it just has a beautiful three drive. Uh, well, I, that's actually a butterfly bottom. So you have a butterfly bottom there at about 82 so that should be a little bit of support there for this stock but it's been bearish uh you know for quite some time here's the thing and those of you that uh subscribe to 24 7 you know i've sent this special report out about the state of the market and stuff like that this is what i was watching and i'm all i'm doing is looking at patterns folks this is the pattern that i was looking at uh sent to me by rich anderson you can see this is the s p 1987 it's a daily chart we ran up from May into August the 25th, which was harmonic convergence at that double top. We came down with a white line is we rallied up with a perfect Gartley 618 on October the 2nd. And from there, the Dow Jones gave back 35 percent of its value. And it did 15 and a half percent of it in one day on October 19th. You see that gold arrow? Uh, there, there, show, there doesn't show a gap there, but believe me, boys and girls, there was a gap. I mean, it was a big one. And you can see the same type of pattern that we're looking at. What's interesting is, is the daily time counts on these is what I'm watching. And they, they, add, they add up pretty good. Plus, uh, Shane Smolian had some really neat stuff with the astrology saying, yeah, this might be what could be happening. And that's what that's what we're watching. You know, and I think that's I think that's important. What I did was I went in and I pulled up uh, from the Internet the chart part of the uh Dow Jones Industrial Average, uh, excuse me, this is the S&P 500. I want you to see the October the 16th date. That was a Friday. Uh, I was in puts that expired on that Friday. I had some futures uh, still on. Uh, I had a lot less futures than I thought because my broker made an error that day. And he said, what do we do? And I said, well, we'll just take care of it on the open on the 19th. And uh, that didn't work out too well. But I couldn't hold him to that because it was, uh, oh, it was a mystery what happened. Anyway, you can see here on October the 16th, I had been short there for quite a while, and that, that was really, really, really great. The puts expired, you know, um, you know, right on their high that day, and that turned out to be really good. And the next day, had I been in them during the 20th, it would have made 10 times what I had made. We'll come back. I want to finish this up because we're going to see something like this in the future, so we learn something from it. Maybe you won't get hurt. Maybe you can make a few bucks. Maybe you just learn something and don't really care. That's always an option here at TFNN. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're chatting here about the uh, thing from the 1987 break, and you'll see that was the last few days. The market bottomed actually on the 20th. It made a slow, slightly lower low. That's when the plunge protection team came in, which was Alan Greenspan, uh, I believe Larry Summers, and uh, – Robert Rubin, those were the ones I believe were in the I might be wrong about Summers, but I know Rubin and Greenspan because they're they're married they're married at the hip. They're like twin brothers. Uh, anyway, uh, what I'd like to do is you know each day when we see these markets like this, one of the things that I like to do for twenty four seven is to send up setups that may or may not happen. Now I know I'm starting to make a little bit of headway in some of these things because of the all day trading sessions that we've done and stuff like that. These things certainly don't work all the time but they work more than they fail and that's the best thing take a look at this this is this is up to date folks as of uh what we could have had today with that drops report we had a chance to rally you notice that the 382 rally from the 382 rally of the fourth was exactly 382 both of those were spot on and that one hit it three times uh, yesterday and then it's broken and we never ever got above 15,890 again and now we're waiting down into that 155 level, breaking down uh, more and more. This is a very bearish chart. Part of the reasons for the bearishness, folks, is if you follow the cryptocurrencies at all, you'll see that the cryptos are breaking badly. If you remember, we had that three drive to a top pattern uh, in the cryptos. They they topped uh, in late August, as I recall. And at that time, John Jameson gave a, a very stern warning that I've you know, brought out to you folks here to watch that pattern very, very closely. And we've got a big target down here in some of these cryptos. It won't be met, I, well, and it could be met right away, but you don't know for sure, but it could be met out in the future sometime, probably in early, uh, mid-February is what we're looking at here as a potential. We've got a caller in here. Uh, did uh, 
did you know the LA guys or the portfolio insurance guys? Uh, no, no, no. I didn't know any of those portfolio people, uh, Mr. Z. I was I was back in Pismo Beach minding my own business. I was talking to Byron every day, like I do every day, and he was in, he was in touch with Leo Malamba, knowing what was going on. But uh, I didn't. I don't know any of those people. I, I never met Greenspan. I never met Ruben. I never met Summers. And you know what? They never met me either, so it's a tie. But I didn't know any of those people uh, at all. I didn't know Paul Volker. I had lunch with him a couple times, a real gentleman. And he was a real a real uh, super super guy. He was too big, though. He was six foot seven, man. He was he was a monster of a guy, but just really, really nice, uh, really nice, uh, not nice fellow. Anyway, uh, keep in mind, watch these little patterns, folks. They're good for entry. They tell you where the trend is going. And, you know, Belize markets can re- do anything they want at any time they want but with the markets dropping like this we have to remember one major thing that we always talk about here and that is fear is a greater emotion than greed you know greed you have that euphoria and lackadaisical feeling with fear you're grabbing onto your seat just like i am now and you can see the white knuckles and the uh, the persper the diaphoresis are sweating and your bulging eyeballs and stuff i mean that that's really fear uh, and that's why people make so many mistakes in the market is they let fear get into it so we try not to work on the fear side of this equation so that's uh, that's neither here nor there now uh, several people have asked me if they, if I think this is the high of the market. I've been saying that. Well, I've been saying it since the 29th of November when the Nasdaq topped. And of course, we made a higher high in the S and P. We made a higher high in almost everything else. But uh, now it's starting to roll over. If this is true, the first jab down here is going to be a, a, a not. A, it's not going to be bad. It's going to be it's going to be a tough one probably. Maybe as much as 20, 25%, maybe more. I don't know. It's the one that bounces. That's the one you got to be ready for, folks. That's the one that you, you make your 20, 30, 40 times your money on. And uh, we're going to be watching that one uh, really, really closely. I, uh, I always keep saying, you know, we'll be watching it really, really closely. I guess that's a trademark of mine, whatever. But anyway, I do watch these things relatively closely. Sometimes not as much as I'd like. Now, remember, we're going to have Tim Boss as our guest here. Uh, at the break next week, believe it or not, folks, write this down. On the 13th of January, 2022, we are going to have none other than Norman. He calls it to the minute. Winsky will be our guest with his show, and uh, we're going to have Norm on on the 13th of January. And I believe that is going to be a full moon, as I recall, or really close to it. So we will have Norm on the show at that time next week. We're also going to have a, a couple of other guests that uh, I'm in the lineup to get. One is Paula Douglas and uh, J.C. Parrots from All Star Charts is going to be our guest. And then also Jim Bartoleone of Bart's Charts will also be our guest, giving us some ideas of what we're looking at with uh, some of these markets. Now, since since we were talking about the 382 in the uh, in the market for the uh, uh, S and P, I wanted to show you that those of you gold traders who might like this one from yesterday. Here was the uh, action that you had. You had the top up there at 1808. The market breaks down to the 78 percent level at 1796. Rallies for a total of 10 minutes. Stops exactly. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's hear this, Elvis. <laughs> Right at 1800 and then down she goes for another $1,500. And then what did it do the next time? It rallied. Guess what? Right up to the 382 again at 1794 and then back down to 1788. So that's it. Anyway, folks, I'm just having a little bit of fun today. We had some good news. One of our friends had some major surgery yesterday and is doing pretty good. So we feel pretty good about that. Uh, uh, the uh, oh, Bo is asking if I'm going to put that into the letter about that'll be in the 24 7, Bo. You're included in that anyway, Bo. Don't worry about that because you're a student. Uh, we got a caller from uh, New Jersey, Victor. What can I help you with, my friend? Yeah, I just want to let you know there, it's a, the Supreme Court is going to mandate that you have to have a, a vaccine. So I'm saying, and the NASDAQ's under 15,000. So this could be the perfect setup to crash the market because you're going to lose tons of workers because people aren't going to take the shots and you probably have civil unrest. 
I agree with that guy from yesterday. So they're they're talking uh, about it right now, the Supreme Court, a mandating well, vaccine well, for everybody. Yeah. So this could be the tip of the iceberg. You, you know, Victor, and what about there's the so many under fifteen thousand. You said that was a standard yeah. deviation. I think we that is we're down. Yeah, that's Monday. down three standard deviations. That's where the real fear comes in. Uh, yeah, we got so many icebergs out here in the North Atlantic, uh, Victor. That it's real. And by the way, I think it was uh, uh, the that April fifteenth. Yeah, it could be a catalyst. Well, we got China is a big problem. You know, they're having they're shutting down so many cities. The supply there could be bad. Oh. We got Russia knocking on the door in Kazakhstan. And as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. I got a call from my SEAL team unit today. They want me to be standby this weekend, so I'm going to have to stand by and wait and see if they call <laughs> yeah. me up. I'm leaving my hey, basement with my uh, in my bunker. Okay, yeah, listen. I don't know. I don't know. I think this president kind of screwed up. We need Trump back well, for sure. We're going to make it through, I mean, Victor. I promise you that. Oh, We're yeah. going to make it through. We'll have a war before it's over, though. I'm telling you, ah, this is it, man. Ah, if they vote that you ah. have to have a vaccine, you're going to see still a uproar. There's no doubt about it. Well, all right. Uh, we'll be right back with Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Thank you for calling in, Victor. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, due to technical difficulties beyond our control, you will be able to have William Preston Valentine, Billy Ray, will be your guest here for the rest of the time. I'm going to share with you why the market is in such dire straits, in my opinion. The first is this market breath. You remember, we had Alpha Insights, Jeff uh, on Jeff uh, Huge on Tuesday showing us uh, that was the one thing that he was really, really concerned about. Uh, that was one of the factors that was going on. I want to do a couple other of these because they're that important. And most people, they look at them and they say, well, they're not very good for timing, but they're good, they're good things for danger signals. You know, that's the main thing. This is, this to me is the one that is the, where the real problem is going to lie, folks. And I, I'll tell you this right now. Uh, if you remember, those of you that have been with me for, what, 17 years, I think it was 2007 was my first year to do this show. In 2009, on March the 5th, that Monday, I posted that the market was going to start the largest short-covering rally it had ever seen. It would exceed the 1938 rally. And uh, it did. It went up for 11 years. Unfortunately, I, I took a very small piece of that. But anyway, look at the record margin debt that we've got here, folks. Going back to the uh, 1990s, look at this. I mean, this is incredible. And then the one on the right is the one that is really, really scary. And that is that the percent of people in the market have very little cash left uh, on, a, on a ratio basis. And that that's a really, really important thing. This leads to the factor that Joe DiNapoli and I, well, Joe talked about it, and I certainly acquiesced about it, and that means that I agree with him, uh, that it is a lot of illiquidity in the market, and this is what I'm really, what I'm really afraid is going to happen. That's why I'm giving you these warnings here, because we're going to see some days, and it will be, uh, yeah, I, well, we'll see both on the upside and downside. You're going to see swings of well over a thousand points in the Dow Jones, uh, at least at least 12 to 1500 several times during this uh, until this uh, first part of this cycle is finished here could be saying it still be on the upside i don't know nobody else does either that's the best part of this now let's take a look at this one here this is the also very scary this goes back to the 1900s uh and this comes from crescent capital through the uh, auspices of elliott wave you'll see these peaks that are here i mean these are really incredible and uh, of course the elliott people are calling it the everything peak or no i think that is the uh, crescent capital that is doing that and it could be you know we've got real estate we've got cryptocurrencies we've got cardano we've got uh, robin hood all these things are going on and so just be uh, just be very very, very careful. The one thing that Mr. Valentine is going to do for you is I'm going to try to get you in some of these things. And the one thing I'm going to promise you, you ain't going to risk very much. I can tell you that right now. We were able to get that nice trade off in the short uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average on that last rally. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to keep that for more than a half a day. Now, this is the one here that is also very interesting. This is the one about the Rydex, folks. We'll get this up here. And you'll see here these tremendous amounts. Now, believe it or not, folks, in 2021, more stock was bought in 2021 than the other 10 years combined. I mean, that seems really hard to do it. And believe it or not, our fortunes are starting to smile on us again. And we have none other than Tim Boss Financial <laughs> Cycles Weekly in the house. Tim, how are you today, my friend? I'm doing great. I'm trying to get the internet to work today. It's a hey, trust me, Bubba. I, I, I hope you're I, feeling I, better, I, my friend. I'm feeling good. I, you missed my Elvis impersonation starting the show. So uh, oh, okay. anyway, let's uh, let's get up here so we can uh, talk about this. Let's talk about, uh, uh, by the way, this is the, well, can we have you on again, say, in about 10 days? Because uh, we, I, if you keep that cadence going, I mean, the people really like it. But there's something that you've talked to us about here in these slides that really is important from my perspective. And that is the fact that we've got uh, Venus, uh, we have Mercury. Uh, Uranus and Venus uh, in direct and retrograde motion in January. That in itself is pretty significant, isn't it, Tim? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, as we start each year, of course, we like to track the upcoming planetary cycles to get a picture of what might uh, impact the markets. And here, over the next couple of weeks, we've got uh, three major things going on. First of all, our Mercury retrograde period begins uh, a week from today, in fact, on the 14th. And uh, that's something that happens about three times a year. 
we get these uh, three-week periods with mercury retrograde, and we have to kind of skew our market uh, analysis because of that whenever that takes place. Uh, then on the 18th uh, of this month, we have Uranus making a direct station. This is a big one. Uh, this happens once a year, uh, and it typically is a big market mover. We are looking, in fact, uh, as a potential signal for a trading bottom short term around that time. So that might be a good time to get together and uh, give that another uh, closer look then. And then at the end of the month, we have Venus uh, going back into direct motion. It turned uh, retrograde in the middle of December. Uh, and so uh, this is generally a positive indicator for business trends. Uh, and uh, it's al always a, an interesting dynamic to, to take a look at when uh, Venus does uh, make either a retrograde or a direct station. Uh, so these are some of the factors that we're uh, keeping an eye on here during the coming weeks. And uh, we had uh, right at the end of the year done our cycle projection for the first couple of months based on a uh, composites of previous uh, patterns in the markets and trying to correlate them with the astrology <coughs> pardon me um so what we have here of course uh, we had seen the the little bit of a, a spike upward uh, right before the end of the year uh, there, uh, the uh, S&P is the black line in this uh, for, based on uh, daily closes and does not include uh, the price action uh, from uh, this week. As again, uh, this chart was prepared about a week ago. Uh, so what we're looking at is that point A coinciding with that Uranus uh, uh, direct station. And essentially, we're looking for the selling pressure to continue uh, in the equities markets and in other markets as well, uh, based on uh, this uh, cycle projection. Uh, now, these other points uh, coming in after that uh, indicate subsequent uh, triggers along the way, uh, and uh, so uh, we, we have those lining up. Uh, you know, through the middle of uh, February, uh, point B is that Venus uh, station. Uh, we're looking for a little pop back upward into that on the 29th of. Uh, of January. Uh, then right after that point C, Mercury goes back into direct motion. Uh, it ends that cycle that will start here uh, next Friday. And then uh, point E uh, is on the 11th of February uh, with Poseidon uh, retrograde station. And F is uh, the 14th of February on Valentine's Day. We'll get Admetos, another trans-Neptunian factor, making a direct station as well. Uh, so we just extended this out for a couple of months here to kind of get a flavor of what we're looking at. A general down trend in play uh, over the next couple of months, but we're looking at that Uranus station on January 18th as a pretty powerful inflection point. Wow, that's really cool. Now, tell us about what you're looking at in, for the cryptos, my friend. They've been getting a lot of heat lately, and it we looks had, like it. We had a big pullback, and that's always interesting to see. I, I personally like to view these pullbacks as buying opportunities because I remain uh, uh, personally bullish, uh, and, and, and uh, full disclosure, do have a position uh, in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, but uh, you know, what we're looking at with our trading chart here, we've been tracking for some months now uh, these planetary price lines for uh, Venus uh, and for the trans-Neptunian uh, Kronos. And uh, what we have done here is just in the past couple of days, you look at uh, the lower right-hand side of the chart there, we've broken through a fairly uh, well-defined support zone uh, for Bitcoin uh, and uh, have uh, had a little bit of a pullback here. There's a potential for more downside here based on uh, the work that we are uh, looking at uh, at this particular point. Uh, but that uh, was a particular important to support zone because it was on a first Are harmonic you in the market line. Okay. Hey, Tim, yeah. we're taking a few Petersburg. bills here, so stay with us and we'll, right. we'll, wrap, we'll wrap it up quickly so you don't have to spend much time, but thank you very much. Stay with us, okay? Bay we'll do. Whether you're okay. looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. 
With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. Peter White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We're chatting with Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly, about the cryptocurrencies. Boy, Tim, this this chart really looks like we could make twenty five thousand without any trouble at all. Well, uh, we've got a couple of support zones uh, to get through before we we hit that, but that's certainly within the realm of possibility. Anything's possible uh, with a volatile market like this. I prepared this chart uh, a couple of hours ago, and at that point time, uh, Bitcoin was trading at forty two two sixty one. Uh, looking at it now, it's uh, uh, under that at uh, forty one thousand six twenty three, and uh, we have defined our support zone based on the Chronos line here at forty one thousand eight sixty. Uh, so we are still. Uh, already testing uh, that lower uh, level of support. Uh, it did trade below uh, 42,000 oh, uh, 10 or 12 hours ago, so uh, that's very, very active right now. We'll see if that holds. If not, we've got another uh, support zone based on Kronos kicking in at 37,210, uh, and we're going to keep an eye on that as, as well. It could go lower, uh, but that would uh, uh, certainly uh, uh, rule out uh, some of the support that we see as potentially active along the way. Now, one of the things that we're looking at here as well uh, are our uh, cycles uh, based on uh, the uh, 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 the solar transits. And this is something that we outlined in our book, Bitcoin Astrology. And if you go to uh, pages 214, oh, excuse me, 114, 115, you'll find a description of the cycles that we're looking at right now. Uh, and uh, what we're seeing right now is the solar transit uh, between 16 degrees and 25 degrees of Capricorn that is his historic a bearish period for a Bitcoin. It has about a 70% uh, likelihood of a pullback and sometimes it can be pretty sharp so it could take us uh, below that uh, 37,000 uh, support uh, zone there as well. The interesting thing is that we have a pivot point coming in uh, with this diagram and it happens to be on the 18th of uh, uh, January which as you recall is also the date of that Uranus station so we expect that to be a major springboard uh, for Bitcoin Bitcoin. Uh, the testing that we did that's documented in our book uh, is also, uh, on, that's on page 114. Uh, we have the solar transit between 28 degrees of Capricorn and 4 degrees of Aquarius. Uh, the little red arrow indicates uh, that time frame uh, coming out of the uh, 18th of January. So this could be a short-term buying opportunity. 
uh, but we have to kind of trim the sails a little bit, uh, weather the storm uh, between now and then. So if you are a long-term holder of Bitcoin, uh, this is a, a great uh, buying opportunity. Uh, if you're a little bit nervous about it, this could be a good time to get out. So it depends on your, your personal trading uh, dynamics and your risk tolerance there. Okay, wow. That's really good stuff. Now, you got a couple more charts for us, my friend? Well, uh, we do have a webinar we wanted to mention that's coming up uh, later today. In fact, we've been doing a good bit of work here uh, looking at uh, these various markets. We're going to be talking about uh, expert market timing, uh, how to get the best price at the right time. And this is a perpetual <laughs> struggle for all of us as traders. Uh, well, what's the right time to get in, the right time to get out? And uh, this is based on a, a lot of the work that we've been doing in our research on WD GAN methodologies along with some other tools and we're getting ready to announce a, a, a new uh, a program here for uh, trading we're calling the super trading time machine it's all about how to determine uh, precise times not only in the past and the present but the future as well uh, to identify uh, optimum uh, trading opportunities uh, so this is a free webinar we'll be offering that uh, starting at 5 30 eastern uh, uh, time uh, new york time uh, today and so uh, if you are not already on our list be sure to sign up we'll send out a notification within the next hour or two here to make sure that you can get connected uh, with the registration on that if you're not already uh, on, on our list here uh, join us uh, via this uh, link bit.ly slash tim larry p that's all lowercase except for the name initials uh, t for tim and l for larry and p for pesabento so uh, that will get you uh, connected with our uh, mailing list to, for for webinar notifications. Again, this, this is a, a free webinar. We'll be looking at these timing dynamics uh, and uh, uh, talking about some of, uh, of the methodologies that we've been working with here uh, that are giving us some great levels of re refinement here. We try to share the charts on, on the program here and, and take a look at these uh, various uh, factors uh, as we can. As we look at something like Bit uh, Bitcoin, we have uh, you know, a tremendous uh, ability to coordinate the planetary dynamics as well as the technical tools and the Fibonacci retracements and other factors. Uh, using planetary price lines like this gives us a distinct advantage in being able to anticipate not only levels of support and resistance, but also those timing factors uh, that are so very, very uh, uh, important in effective trading. Well, you've done a great job for us over these past years, uh, Tim. I have to admit, boy, I tell you, some of these lines are a little scary to me because I've not seen them before. I know where they come from because I knew Jeannie Long and Robert Krauss quite well. But, uh, my goodness, they're hitting these Bitcoin numbers uh, pretty well. This last one was really amazing up there at that uh, 51,000 level. That was a, a beautiful 382 retracement, which is what we look for. And now that measures, to me, I just did the work uh, right before we came on the air here. And it looks like we could make 25,000. That's not a big deal. I mean, it's only going from 67 to 25. I mean, we watched, we watched it go from 30, All in a day's it, work. Yeah. Right? We watched it go from 20,000 to 3,000 and 3,000 to 67,000. I mean, all this is going to do is give you a great buying opportunity is what I'm looking for. And, of course, my friend John Jameson is looking at pretty much the same thing. Listen, we're going to have you in uh, back in a couple weeks. But uh, I'll tell the excellent. folks here this is posted in the room. Hopefully they'll attend. And uh, they're getting a very big discount, as you usually give them, being free. Well, you can't ask for anything. We can't get any that. cheaper than free, no, my friend. We, we, we do our well, best. We, unless you get a money Maybe if we do guarantee. it in Bitcoin, we can go negative with it. I don't know. <laughs> That's true. We'll hey, listen, you thank you for joining us, my friend. And I uh, will have you on again soon. But you do great work and keep it up and may God bless. Thank you so much, Larry. Have a great day. You bet. Tim Boss, folks, Financial Cycles Weekly down there in Bradenton, Florida. Always a lot of fun. And Monday, speaking of uh, astrology, we're going to have none other than the uh, wolf trader himself was going to be uh, calling us or being on the air here. He's been calling this uh, move in Bitcoin just incredibly well, along with a few other things. And so Shane Smolian will be our guest on Monday. Uh, of course, Thursday, we're going to have uh, Mr. Norm Winsky uh, as our guest. Uh, I don't have the calendar in front of me now, but I know I have two other guests lined up uh, for the day. We certainly enjoyed uh, Joe DiNapoli yesterday with his view of the of the world and the markets and stuff like that, which was uh, a lot of fun. Let's get back to these. So we only got a couple minutes here. 
before the break. I wanted to share all of these because these are very, very important things, folks, as far as, uh, you know, why markets react the way they do. We have a, a situation in these markets that is very rare, and that is we have not had a lot of bullish. This is the understatement of the year. The open interest in the S&P up and through July was about 3.2 million contracts. We're now 1 million contracts under that, folks, in the largest bull market that we've ever had. This has been a market which is showing lack of participation on the future side of the market. We're seeing a lot of participation on the ETF side, but not in the future side. And that is a very troubling thing because that's illiquidity. There's a lot of people, remember, most of the money in the stock market in the last year was equal to the other 10 years combined. What happens when these people want to try to get out? That door is not going to be very wide open, folks. You remember it? Uh, we'll take a break here. 877 927 6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're having a good rally here. It looks like the old Supreme Court must have did something with the old uh, whatever they're doing with the um, vaccination stuff. Who knows? It's just another factor that you have to consider if you're a fundamentalist. Remember, folks, we've got some really good programming coming up next. we got TD Ameritrade uh, coming up. Uh, then we also have uh, Thinkorswim. We have Steve Rhodes. And then we also have David White and Tommy O'Brien will wrap it up at 3 p.m. And then next week, we're going to have some nice guests starting out with uh, Mr. Shane Smolian, the Wolf Trader.com will be our guest uh, uh, on uh, Monday. Uh, I 
I got somebody on Tuesday, but by golly, the old cowboy can't find out what it is. But on Thursday, I'm sure we have Norm Winsky uh, will be our guest. Uh, those of you that are in the gold market, we're waiting for a buy down there at 1769, 1770. We're trading around 1792 right now, so be patient on that. There'll be some really good videos coming out this weekend uh, dis discussing some of these markets and where we might be going. So this will be another factor that you want to be doing, uh, watching these things. But remember, we're going going to be seeing greater volatility folks both up and down look at this we've had a 200 point move uh in the stock market since i've been on the air 220 points uh basically straight up the s p's have gone from what 84 excuse me let's call that oh my goodness from 54 they've had 34 handles uh since i've been on the air uh, that's a that's one one heck of a move so these are these are not uh, uh what do we call uh, times where you don't want to leave your guards now that's for sure Let's remind us that. I can't post that chart because uh, I have to change the scale. And by the time I change the scale, I would not be able to uh, not be able to do anything with it. So there's absolutely nothing that I can uh, – Nothing at all I can do about that. So let's remind ourselves it's it's quite important to, to pay attention to that. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. Man. Those are about basically it, boys and girls. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. Live every day, of course, to try to help your neighbors. There's so many of them that are having a lot of trouble. And don't go long to bond market for a while. we still got more to go to the downside. And this volatility is here to stay. And that's all I can say. May God bless. We'll see you on Monday on the flip side. <laughs>